I got another Tip Tuesday video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to go over what my favorite deck estimation uh, drill is. I know last week we did kind of a similar one with deck estimation where we uh, kind of trained our eye, if you will, to look at exactly one, two, three, four, five, and six decks at a time from the different spots around the table. I think that's a great drill too, but this one is my favorite. So uh, before we get too much further, guys, welcome back in. If you're uh, one of my subscribers, if not, this is A1 Blackjack, the channel where we teach you how to count cards fast. So if that sounds good to you, stick around because I think you're gonna like this drill. All right, first off, what I have done, let me uh, just kind of take off exactly one deck here and show you what I did. All right, so there's the Ace of Spades. These are all in order, right? These are just uh, some brand new decks. And you'll see here, so you can see they're all in order. Um, but what I did is I've marked these up, right? So I'll zoom in on this for you. And this first one, since it's the first deck, I have a one, and this is card number one. Right, and then the same thing all the way through. So this is card two, first deck. Uh, if I pick a random one here, this is card number 32 in the first deck. And then if I were to pick out any, um, any random card at all in all six of these, right? Six times 52 cards, that's 312. So I'll pick one from here. All right, the five of diamonds. Um, looks like maybe in about the fifth deck or so. Yeah, and it is, all right? So you can tell that because it says dash five. So this is the 226th card. And that means, uh, and the dash five means in the fifth deck, all right? And so what I've done is I've uh, kind of also created this chart that you'll see here pop up on the screen. And I have an abbreviated one here in person so that I can also follow along because I can't see the screen, um, which is based off of the uh, card that I were to pick out. All right, let's say I take a chunk off of the top here. And because these are all numbered, if I look at, if I look at the card on top, right, this is gonna tell me exactly how many decks have been played and how many decks are left to be played, right? And what we're more concerned about is the decks left. So on that chart that you see on the screen, that has both decks that have been played and decks have left to be played. But down here on my uh, paper, I just have the decks left because that is obviously more important. We'd take our running count divided by that number to get our true count. That's why all of this matters, okay? So for example, this is the 177th card. So if you were to kind of guesstimate that, I'd say there's probably a little over three decks that have been played, which means there's probably about two and a half to three decks that have yet to be played. So on mine, let's see if I'm right or not, 177, Yep, that falls within the 2.5 um, kind of left to be played. So I was correct there. All right, then what you can do is just put it back, make sure it's in the same spot. And if you replace it, then you can do it again. So the drill that we're going to do, this shouldn't be that long of a video because I just want to do this drill a few times with you and then you can try it on your own. Uh, I'm put my stack of papers or my chart off to the side and um, I'm going to pull off a section all right, and while I do that, I'm going to make the screen go completely black for a second, and then I'm only going to flash up the deck. It's gonna be right here on the screen, so kind of look at the right spot on the screen while you're doing it. It's only gonna be visible for exactly one second. All right, we're gonna do this three to five times maybe, and I want you to try to figure out how many decks are left to be played in a six deck shoe based off of the amount that I take off. All right, so here we go, the screen's going black. Let's see if we can do this. So when the screen pops back on, there is going to be less than six decks in there. I'm taking them out now. And it's gonna be your job to figure out exactly how many you think that is, rounded to about the nearest half deck, All right? So are you ready? It's gonna pop on for one second here in three, two, one. All right, so after seeing that, screen's black again. After seeing that, how many decks do you think have not been played yet, or are left to be played, I should say. So one way to figure that out, so I'll, um, I'll bring, bring you back in here, screens back on. And one way to figure that out is to look at that top number. I'd say it's about one and a half decks that are in here, which means that there are four and a half yet to be played. Let's see if we're right. This is card number 76. So on my chart, if I go over here, 76 falls within this category. Yep, and there's four and a half left to be played. So that's what this stack represents. All right, let's do it again. Screen's going black. Let's do this maybe three times, and then I'll tell you guys how you can try this on your own. All right, I'm taking off a new section now. Go right there. 
Okay, and screen's popping on here in three, two, one. All right, so that was one second. What do you think? I'm gonna say this is pretty close to even, so 50-50, or three decks and three decks, I should say. Maybe slightly less than that. Right, if anything, it might be two and a half left. All right, this was card number 175. Uh, 175 falls within, ooh, it was. It was barely over the region. Um, so instead of three, it's two and a half decks left to be played. All right, so I was slightly off on that. I need to practice too. All right, we're gonna do this one more time. And then, like I said, I will show you how to do it. All right, so I'm gonna pick a new one here. Car uh, screen's going blank. All right. And it's popping on in three, two, one. All right, there's one second. Okay, what do you think? Tell me your final answer. <laughs> All right, I would say that there is just a little bit more than one deck left to be played. Let's go one and a half. So if I check that top card here, bring it back in. This is card number 243. So that falls within the range, yep, of one and a half decks left to be played. So that's what I would divide by. For example, if I had a running three at this point with one and a half decks left to be played, uh, one or three divided by one and a half would be a true count of two. And so the bet spread I like to use is two chips in two spots of whatever unit I bet you. So if I had a hundred dollar unit, that'd be two there, two there. Um, and that's how I would use that to help me find my bets. That's good help us with our true count. All right, so a couple things with this before I let you go today, and that is one, how do you do this without a tray, okay? Um, I was actually looking, um, I think I mentioned this in my last video, but uh, Casino Supply, who gave me this uh, felt and who um, I buy most of my chips and you know, shoes and things from, um, their discard tray is only $7 and I think 25 cents or $7.50, something like that. And so you might wanna consider uh, picking one of those up. If you do, I have a discount code for you. Code A1BJ will get you 10% off, all right? And that's a great way to support me as well. I get a 10% kickback on that um, if you purchase that from them. Um, as well as maybe you don't have uh, six decks of the same cards, right? These cards, I think they were having a clearance type thing. Um, these were only $1.75 for a deck. So that might save you a little bit of money if you want to get all the same. These are, I also like these for the camera because uh, they have nice big letters. So um, do what you want with that. Um, in either way, anything you buy from Casino Supply, if you want, you know, felt, chips, uh, cards, decks, shoes, whatever, use a discount code, right? Um, A1BJ would help me out and help you out. So anyway, that's the tip for this Tuesday. Until next Tuesday, remember. Thank you.